What's up guys? It's a normal club today. I'm with the Sydney Urbexer that I met online like a few days ago. We've been talking since then. Um, safety first. Safety first, yeah. Is that a fucking cat? In the fucking field. <gasps> it is. It's fucking Kevin. Kevin. Kevin the cat. Kevin is a caretaker who roams this place all the fucking time and... Beats people up. And he threatens to kill them. Anyways. Kenmore Asylum, also known as a hospital or a psychiatric hospital, was built in 1894, capable of housing 700 patients within its 19 wards. It's also described as Australia's most haunted location, or one of them. Spooky. Spooky deaths. Many. <laughs> in 1908, a patient was attacked and killed by another resident of the asylum who struck him on the head with a holy stone. Our patient, Prince Dean, had a history of hitting other patients and was ex and explained why he had struck him, saying it was for fun. At the time of the incident, John Cubitt was scrubbing the floors with Dean, so like they were just doing some stuff. He's like, see you later. A patient named James hung himself from a tree, despite being noted as a quite sociable and well-behaved person. Another guy was sentenced to death after murdering his wife at the asylum. Hello? Henry, age 41, a patient in the hospital for the insane committed suicide by hanging himself from a window shutter by tearing a piece of thick canvas rug and using it. The Spanish influenza in 1918 killed 21 patients. The photo of them all dressed up for the influenza. I sent you that. <laughs> Me when COVID-19. The clock tower was not originally commissioned for the hospital. Rather, it turned up unannounced and was duly installed. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> duly installed by 1999. The hospital had been designed to be self-sufficient, having their own workshops, etc. It sounds like a cult. Even meat was swapped with bread from the jail. The old store was housed beneath the clock tower and was used for over 100 years until its closure in 1992. Beneath this was a cellar where meat was stored. It regularly reached temperatures below zero during winter and was also subject to flooding. Fires were also a real danger and the horse drawn lawnmowers were in constant use during the hot summer months to keep the grass in check. A number of the buildings however have been lost to fires over the years. Imagine riding a horse. <laughs> Mowing the, the fucking lawn. lawn. Yeah. Anyway, the army in 1942 was offered the hospital as a can't read that word, a centre, and hospital for returned soldiers displacing most of the existing patients and staff, so they f fucking took over it. The army emptied the hospital of over a thousand patients and trained loads of equipment. By early 1946, the hospital was passed back under the responsibility of the state and the patients gradually returned as the army took its leave. It's generally acknowledged that the army left the hospital better, in a better state than they found it. And there's a memorial to the soldiers in the Off grounds. Off the army, I guess. Yeah. Um, also, the hospital closed its stores in 1980 and Ward 15 caught fire in October 2021, which happened recently. Ooh, toasty. Toast, literally. I remember hearing about that. And the Off Facebook. Yeah, and the damage was $500,000 worth, so... Doubt they put that money in to fix it. No. Anyways, there's a clock tower. Clock tower! I'm gonna go climb it. There's three sets of ladders. There's also a cellar, apparently, in that building. And there's also Kevin. We have to play hide and seek. <laughs> Here, here's a clip of Kevin from someone else's video. What have I done? I just seen you in there, brother. Yeah, we went in, in there. Well, well, well you trespassed, mate. We didn't go in there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys in there. Woo! We're just on the main road, and they've literally installed like a massive fence all around like the place. But there's like a place down the end of this no through road and um, you can't even see it but I'm gonna go through there so I can't even see what I'm filming but <laughs> <laughs> we got a fence here that we're gonna climb over. It's very it's a bit steep on the other side but it works I think. So windy apologies for the fucking audio. I have a better idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a, there's a fucking log there. Well, they've obviously stopped cars from going down here, so... <sighs> oh dear. Update, we're going down the steep hill and I'm dying. There's a building. It's Kevin's house, bro. Your photo? Yeah, it's sweet. What are you going to do with it? 
It looks very bushy. Oh, our first explore. Okay. Fireplace. So that's completely overgrown, like to get to the. Should we go down there? Bed. Watch out for this done. Alright, right, we go down here. Alright, we're going through the woods guys. Pray for us. Uh, uh. I see a sign. I don't know what it says. Ooh. What does this shit say? Deep water, no swimming allowed. Okay. Oh, do you see that? There's like a tarp or something. Looks like someone used to live there. <laughs> For real. Okay, update. There's a fence. So that's good, that gets us in. Alright, we're going in. Prepare us. Because Kevin might be around. Yes. I think we go through here. Oh, watch out, there's thorns. Alright. I hear a dog and I'm scared. I... Bro, are these guys like a tree? Oh. Oh, it's got thorns. Oh, maybe we should go behind where we were before. Because it took us around the back. Yeah. Okay, we gotta go all the way back. See you guys then. Every noise we hear, we think it's like someone. This is back where we started. Right. Yeah. We're coming up to a building here. Look, there's like car tracks. Do you see that? There's car tracks. So Kevin has been around here. We don't want to run into Kevin. Alright, maps. So that's that building. If we keep going around there, we'll get to all the other buildings. Okay, that's why I was running. So we're gonna go forward, and there's a lot of buildings. But we're on the fucking like patrol track, I think. So. Fun times. Should we try and do this building? like the area around where we are and hopefully we can spot Kevin before he spots us. Bro the houses can see from here. It's alright as soon as we get to that tree we'd be fine. Yeah.
That's a fucking bathroom. What's weird about this place is there's no graffiti whatsoever. We'll keep you guys updated when we get out of the fucking building. Guys, just for the day, we're going to upstairs. Yet again, there's no graffiti, which is so weird. But, oh, many more bathrooms. everything out. Would there be a stairs leading down in this building though? Yeah. yeah. We have to find the stairs. I think we're pretty safe with the wind because Kevin's going to be like, oh, what's that noise? It's just wind. <laughs> but why is there that much graffiti in the air, bro? And they've tried to get rid of it. Like, genuinely. An exit. Maybe the stairs. Are, there's a door here. Do we want to find it downstairs or does, is there no downstairs? Maybe they kept the fucking psychos in here. Exit sign there, so maybe. There's a shot door there, that could be the fucking staircase. Yeah. We're trying to find stairs, like. <laughs> yeah, the shot door there. Oh, where does that one lead to? More stairs going down, but outside, or? Yeah. building and in another one. Update, every fucking door and window is like either completely like boarded up and glued shut or like the windows are like bad. So we haven't found a fucking way into another building yet. Yeah, maybe.
We've not been able to find a way in, bro. There's also keep going. Yeah, we're gonna keep going. And there's a door, but it's fucking closed and they don't open unless you wanna fucking blow it open with a bomb. This is gonna be one of the most hardest abandons, like. these videos so like they used to have beds and they would just like sit them and sleep them next to each other clean socks do you want some clean socks bro for real there's a mirror <laughs> tag us abnormal club <laughs> okay so basically Oh yeah, so in there is where they'd watch. Why is my battery low? Oh maybe. Okay, this one has shit battery. That's where they'd watch the patients. likes on this video we're gonna go climb the clock tower at night time so make sure to like the video this is a picture of the clock tower it has three sets of ladders so make sure to go like the video and subscribe thank you and for the drawers we've got socks singlets and underpants and pajamas and Kevin somewhere Kevin insert Kevin here This place is massive. Like, insanely massive. So right now we're in like the hospital part, like where sick people are. All the other like insane wards are like that way. But the 
It's just random shit like everywhere, bro. And that building got absolutely fucking cooked down, unfortunately. Shots almost like who would So we just walked around the entire like the building and now we're trying to get to the clock tower just to suss it out and we're like so in the open right now and there's like no one here. So it's really weird. Where's this clock tower bro? I can't see it. Yeah, this place is huge. If you want us to come back at night time and get into that clock tower, let us know. Because it has to be done. It has to be. We couldn't get into that building because everything was kind of shut. But there was a window open. But like, you have to like push it up. I don't want to make too much noise right now. Even though it looks like we're fine. And it looks like we can't get into this building either. Parameters.
I think that's where they come from. We just need to go straight here. Yeah. Just keep it on the road. when you decided to come to off. Fuck, I wasn't filming so I can't show you guys there was a car. I don't know if you can hear it, but like, there genuinely was when I'm joking. I didn't even see it myself. Was it a you? Do you know? <sighs> to be fair, we've been in here for like three hours. Got this. Today, bitch. Not today. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is where people. What is that? What is that? Oh, thank God. All we have to do is go over there. Turn that fence a bit. I think we should go around the back way. You reckon? Where we came in. Okay. Because that means we have to. But remember, there's a patrol area where he drives. I think we'll be okay. I don't think we'll be going. We've got to move though, we can't stay still. Mm. It'll be fine, let's go. Again guys, we'll come back at night, 100 likes. This is not the way. you forgot to film an outro so make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video we will definitely be going back but make sure to get that to 100 likes and we'll go back at night time and do ghost investigations because we did pull out the spirit box which we didn't film and it immediately started saying hi hello and all this stuff which is kind of spooky um and i definitely want to do the clock tower so make sure to run it up Hopefully you guys enjoyed, make sure to check the links in bio, follow my friend who came along with me and follow all the socials and yeah, hope to see you guys next time.